Hello, everybody. Welcome to Gavin's podcast episode. Not to mistake it. Gavin plays 6878 with this gaming. Today, I am going to show you my telescope. Because today is a super moon. It means the moon is at its closest point. So, I'm going to upload a short showing the moon later. But first, let me show the telescope. So, first of all, this is the phone adapter. So, my phone goes in there and then you could look at things but it's weak enough and I need to charge it so it's gonna be good for later. It also does affect the tides. So I guess in the tides are gonna be a bit higher. Supermoons do not happen this that often. In fact, supermoons only have been four times a year. Four times a year. That's crazy. It's not that long. So yeah. So this is a Celestron 114 AZ smartphone ready. Which means if you put the phone in it, probably you can't see what it's pointing to. It's pointing to is that thing over there. You can like look at things like that. You can look at things like stars, like red doors. Basically, a star that's not visible to the naked eye. Like, and if like, say there's like a double star, you could look at it and see that it's companion star. Or a white dwarf. Just not too long ago, like yesterday or the day before, I looked at a star, a double star, and I saw both. So, this is the finder scope. You have to align it so where it works. Use this to turn it on. Then, you'll see... What it's pointed to there's like a dot red dot yeah i can't do that but there is a red dot and it'll show what it's pointed to oh is where the projection of the red dot comes from oh you can adjust the brightness i didn't know that Mommy, look! You could adjust the brightness of the red dot. And then this is where it comes from. Yeah, it's a laser. Yeah, it's a laser. Yeah, you use it to look at stars. I turned the find a scope off and you're not using it. Oh, yeah, and then there's this cap for when you're not using it. it fell off because I was trying to get the adapter on. So. Uh. Anyways, um, it has really good texture, moves around, it has different les- lenses. This is the 25 millimeter lens, and then that's a smartphone adapter on it. <sighs> and then these are the other lens, this is the other lens, which is like 9.7 millimeters. And I think I have a third one now, who knows where that is. No, I think only has two lenses, right? Right, it only has two lenses? Right, it has two lenses that it comes with, like eyepieces. Yep. yep. And there's also an app where, like, you could, like, point at things with it. Yeah, I don't know. It's not, it doesn't work. I haven't found a way to get it to work. So, yes, I am going to be uploading a short. It shows a super moon. However, it's going to be uploaded very late. The moon isn't out right now. It doesn't rise up for like another hour or so. And I'm also going to look at Venus once it comes out. Well, it's already out, but it's not high enough to see. So, like the houses are covering it. And one more thing. Oh, I need it. It doesn't have to do with the telescope, but it's for the new video I've been doing. I've been doing to make since July 16th. See, look, it says July 16th Trevor video. I wasn't able to do that, but I'm going to do a video. And here's a preview of it with a little Trevor checkup. (sighs) Well... Trevor himself, he isn't. He's doing okay. Mm, I guess so. He isn't really doing too well. 
I can't find him. He's in there. Oh, let me pick that up. Where is Trevor? Oh, there he is. He's not doing so good. Well, he's skinny, skinny because I need to feed him more, and he might have been locked. Because there was a disclaimer about buying him that he might have been locked. But before, his, his color didn't look very good, but now his color's back. If he didn't notice his color, he, he didn't look very good. Like he looked kind of pale, kind of brownish, but his color's back, so he looks blue now, just like when he when I bought him. However, he needs to be fed. I I'll give I usually give him one, two, three, at least four pellets per day, eight pellets per day, four in the morning and four in the evening. Should I just fed him? Yeah, I notice. And there is another beta in the house, but it's my mom's. However, I might act, I might actually be able to keep it probably not, but here here he is right here. Uh, I know that's a bad tank and it's a better tank. Hopefully we'll be able to get money for a better one that's not a very good one. And if you see he has a really big bubble nest because he's really happy. He doesn't have a name yet. But probably bubbles. <laughs> Probably because of his big bubble mess. Well, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the YouTube short about the moon. Bye. <laughs>